Hey guys, so I just finished my driving test and I actually passed, which is amazing. This is my driving instructor. Hello. I'm going to leave her link below. If you live in West London, go and check out Teji. She's so patient, so calm. I would not have passed without her. Thank you, Ella. <laughs> Thank you, and it was a good drive. I think I just luckily passed it. I'm just happy. <laughs> now I'm going to go into detail on how my driving test was, what manoeuvres I had to do and all of that. I got so lucky with this because my examiner was so so friendly he was just chatting to me normally about uni and stuff like that and he was just so nice and i think he was really lenient with me so i passed first time with seven minors when i was doing the driving test i actually thought i got like three or four majors because it wasn't like a completely smooth ride and to be honest i thought i got way more than seven minors so my first minor was use of mirrors whilst changing direction the next two minors were in progress and it's it was for appropriate speed another two minors were also for speed and that was whilst i was approaching junctions the speed wasn't right. Um, I knew this because obviously as you approach roundabouts and junctions and stuff, you have to slow down a lot. Um, I was leaving it too last minute and it was too harsh, the braking. And then my last two minors were in awareness and planning. You can see them all here. That's the use of mirrors one. Those are the speed ones and then awareness and planning. The test centre that I did it in was the Pinner Test Centre. I'm just going to go from the start and go through my whole driving test now. We started off, went left, pulled over and then he said this is going to be the start of your independent drive. And he just said it's going to be the first left and then follow the route to Stanmore. Because it was the start of the test, I was really nervous and I forgot to look at all the signs. I was just so fixed on like, make sure you look at the mirrors, make sure you're not like hitting other cars, like make sure everything else is right. I didn't look at the sign. And obviously independent drive, you have to look at the signs and follow the route yourself. You can't always just be asking them, is it the second exit, is it the first exit? But yeah, in the end, that's what I had to kind of do. So I was just like... Oh, I missed the sign. Um, is it the second exit? And he was like, yeah, he, he wasn't pleased, to be honest. So that was the first 10 minutes and I thought I'd failed. So I was like, okay, great start. Like, I'm done already. Then we continued. I had loads of roundabouts. And guys, I'm not that good with roundabouts. Obviously, if it's clear, you're just meant to go, right? I normally always come to a stop. And then that happened this time as well. We were on a roundabout. It was clear, um, but I was in third gear. And obviously, you're meant to slow down early on. I think this is where I got my minor in. So I slowed down a bit too late, put it into second, and then it was clear, but then I thought it was gonna stall or something. So I just stopped, I put it into first gear and then I went and the guy behind me was just like, and he beat me as well. So that again, I thought was a major. So, so far we're like 20 minutes into the drive and I thought, okay, I've got two majors already and God knows how many minors. But again, um, you just ignore it, you just keep going. He took me on a dual carriageway, I was going at about 40. I had to go through a width restriction as well. So again, first gear, really slow. There were quite a few meet situations. A guy was doing a turn in the road. I didn't know whether to wait for him to finish or go by, but I decided to put it into first gear and just um, creep by, which was okay, I think. So the maneuver that I had was the Bay Park and we did that right at the end of the test um, in the actual test center. Because the car park was so empty, um, I lined myself up and I did that perfectly. There wasn't a problem with that. Thankfully, we didn't do an emergency stop either. I hate doing the emergency stop. So overall, the things that I got throughout the test were two or three turning right. I had to pull over and move off about four or five times. Um, I got about three or four roundabouts, a dual carriageway, a width restriction, a bay park. My test started at 11.01 a.m. Test in total was about 45 minutes. It did go over a little bit. And guys, honestly, if you do live in the West London area, I would highly recommend my driving instructor. She's just the most patient, kind, and funny person. I genuinely look forward to driving lessons with her. And yeah, I'm actually gonna do my Pass Plus with her next summer, so that's gonna be really good. I think my mum's calling me now. I just sent her a picture of my certificate. Hey! Oh my god! Oh, you passed! Yeah, I passed. Oh my god, unbelievable. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will answer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Take care of you.